In March 2020, when the Wuhan virus was declared a pandemic, China closed its borders for nearly all outsiders. Two years on, the travel restrictions have been eased to some extent, but only select travelers from 23 countries are being allowed in China. And surprisingly, China's iron brother Pakistan is not on that list. Since January last year, Pakistan has been under a temporary travel ban, which basically means Pakistani citizens cannot travel to China without a special permission from the Chinese embassy. The ban has been particularly harsh and Pakistani students enrolled in Chinese universities. There are at least 28,000 of them. For over two, year, two years, they've been stuck in Pakistan, compelled to take virtual classes, waiting for Beijing to green light their return. One such student, frustrated with a two-year-long ordeal, decided to confront the foreign minister of Pakistan, the one and only Shah Mahmood Qureshi. The student told the foreign minister that students from Malaysia are being allowed to return to China. Why not students from Pakistan? Why is Islamabad not building pressure on Beijing? You have to watch what Qureshi told him. Malaysia is not bad. China is bad. China is not allowed. Sir, we are not in Malaysia. The virus is a vaccination. यार मुझे क्या समझा रहे हो मुझे नहीं पता मुझे नहीं पता कोशिश कर चीन की पॉलिसी है वो नहीं करना चाह रहे उनका प्रेसिडेंट शी कहीं निकलता ही नहीं है मिलता ही नहीं किसी को हमारी मीटिंग उठा रखी है उन्होंने कहा कोई होगा पहले टेस्ट होगा ये होगा एक बंदा निकले खाते में तो आपके बच्चे मार यार मेरा कसूर नहीं है ना कोरोना हम लेकर आए बेटा हम तो कोशिश कर रहे हैं और करेंगे जो हमारे बस में हम करेंगे you heard him. This is not our fault, he says. Even Xi Jinping does not go anywhere. To be honest, what Shah Mahmood Qureshi said is nothing wrong. Xi Jinping literally does not go anywhere these days. He hasn't left China for over two years now. 732 days to be precise. Blame the pandemic. Blame domestic troubles. Global disapproval or simply the fear of being confronted. Whatever be the case, Xi Jinping is in hiding and China has not been able to hide this fact. But now you have the foreign minister of Pakistan mocking the Chinese president on tape. It's embarrassing for China. It's dangerous for Pakistan. Xi Jinping does not like being mocked. Ask Winnie the Pooh. He's banned in China because the president does not like jokes. So we'd advise caution to Mr. Qureshi the next time he visits China. As for these Pakistani students, the foreign minister's statement has only fueled their anger. They're venting online. A hashtag is trending on Pakistani Twitter. It says, take back Pak students to China. Why are they so desperate to return? You see, a lot of them were studying in China on fully funded scholarships. Some of them were also receiving a monthly stipend of around 70,000 Pakistani rupees. But ever since China locked its borders, the scholarships have been withheld and the stipends halted. Students who wish to continue courses online are being asked to pay for classes. Not everyone can afford these, hence the outrage. I'll show you some posts. The first one says, it's so sad that we are stuck at home for 20 months. China still doesn't care about our distress. We have no stipend, no money, no job. Here's another one which reads, Tourism, okay. Business visas, okay. Work visas, okay. Students, no, it's a very dangerous virus. Yet another student shared this. We are vaccinated, ready for quarantine. Now what's your excuse? Attached is an image of a child drowning. As another child with a business visa gets embraced. And some students are directly lashing out at China. Sample this tweet. It says, Dear China, please don't destroy our future. Now, we sympathize with their plight. China is allowing students from Malaysia, Thailand, and South Korea to return, but not students from Pakistan. You would have thought China and Pakistan are thick as thieves. Well, think again. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.